begin with, we're going to learn how to move resources. If you can see my cursor, it starts to change once I'm over a resource. If we click, we're mining into our ship. If I click this square, it stops. I can also just fly away and it automatically stops. However, we can't mine other resources whilst we have a resource in our ship. So if we want to remove this, we click, drag, and let go. So this works if I want to drag into turrets, drag onto a belt, or drag into a building. Now, sometimes we've got resources in our belt that we don't want. To get rid of them, just click on the conveyor belt, click the resource, and you get rid of it. Now, if you're close to the core, you can just mine it directly in. And we can also take from the core. Now we can mine copper, lead, scrap, and coal. But titanium and thorium, we need to use drills. So at minimum, these won't work. Minimum is pneumatic drill for titanium and laser drill for thorium. Now you probably don't want to move everything manually around the base. So we've got conveyor belts to help us with this. You'll start off with this great conveyor belt. It's moving 4.1 items a second. Once you upgrade, you can have titanium and armored conveyor belts. These move 11 items a second. Now the only difference between these two, as you've guessed, the armored has more health. The plastinium conveyor belt is new for V6. It moves 40 items a second, making it the fastest conveyor belt. And each one of these are batches and they have 10 items in each one. If we need to jump over anything, we can use a bridge conveyor. So if you click and as long as it's within range, it'll start to build the bridge. Quick tip, we can click and drag and it'll connect a bridge. Notice it didn't make it in the middle here because it was too far. So how do we do this? Let's click another bridge. We'll make one here, here, and here. Click an input, click an output. Click an input, click an output. Now it's all connected up. Now the speed of a bridge is down to what you input it with. So if you put a gray conveyor belt, it's gonna be the speed of a gray conveyor belt. Titanium belt will be the speed of a titanium belt and an armored conveyor belt. The only difference is the plastidian conveyor belt. That's a bit more complicated. I'm not even gonna talk about it today because it needs an episode for itself. So just forget about that for now. If we need a bigger distance, we can use phase conveyors. Notice it's blocked here and it's not outputting. It's because they need power. So let's connect them up. So we're moving this to our next one, but it's still not moving. It needs power as well. So because this one's already powered, we can connect this to a node <clears throat> and I'll power the next one. And we can then power the next one. And notice we don't need any power for the output. Now, if we want to send even further, we can use mass drivers. So if we zoom out, and click it, you can see how big an area it can actually send. So let's make the next one within range. And they're not sending to each other. It's because they both need power as well. So let's connect them up. And they're still not sending. It's because we need to tell the input to send to the output as you might have multiple ones around the map. So click the input and then click the output, it'll start to send. If we want it to stop sending, we can click the input and then just click the output again and it'll stop sending. We can put these in a chain as well. So if I just put one down, connect it up, we can click an input, click the output, click the input, click the output. It'll now start sending 
to this one after it's been filled up with a few items. Now a quick tip, if you wanna know the range, you can click an input, go to mass driver, and you'll get this yellow line so you can see exactly how far you can have it. The next ones are new for V6 as well. They're called payload conveyors. Now they can do other things apart from units, but for the next 400 hours, you're not even gonna do anything else. They're just gonna be for units. And we can use them to send into the next tier. And if we just direct it in, once we connect this to power and send the right resources, it'll level up these bots. And the last one are minor drones. So if we connect this up to power, and if you have this selected, which is the mono, they mine copper and lead for you. And you'll notice it says three out of 24 on the right. We cannot get more than 24 minor drones for this core. And what I mean by that is each core has a maximum number that you can have. If I build another, it still says three at 24. So building more air factories won't make more drones. Even if we delete them, they're still gonna be there until they get destroyed by enemies. We can also press G and they'll start to follow us. We can use them to mine exactly what we want at a faster speed. Hope that helps. Catch you next time.